Hi, how's it going everyone? Happy New Year and welcome to another React Native tutorial. In today's video, we'll be implementing sign-in with Google on Android. So I recently put out a video where I implement this on iOS and today we'll be doing the same for Android. So let's get started by setting up a React Native project. And I'll call my application Jalom uh, C. Uh, call it auth or social auth. So there's a reason why I gave my application this unique name here, and that's to create a unique package name for our Android application. And this will be important when it comes to actually implementing our sign-in with Google later on. So let's just give this a moment to complete. And then in the meantime, what we can do, let's set up our, our Firebase project. I'll give it a name, I'll call it React Native Google Sign In, say Android. Then click Continue. Uh, we'll disable Google Analytics for this project, we don't need it. And then I'll go ahead and create project. And then from here, we'll just click Continue. And then we'll first enable authentication. And then for our sign in method, we'll select Google, click enable here. And then for the support email, select from the drop down and click save. That should be good. Next up, let's head back to Project Overview. And here we'll select Android app. So here on this package name here, as I said, this package name has to be unique uh, across all uh, Firebase application, I think. So I had a few issues when I was actually setting this up on a previous application. And the issue had to do specifically with the package name. So our application has been set up. Let's first open this in Android Studio. So I'll cd into Jalom C social auth. Then I'll open this in VS Code and also open Android Studio to run my Android application. And we'll just be working in app.js. And then let me just remove this. Let me open my Android application. So desktop, uh, where is this? Google Auth Android. Go into the project folder and then Android folder and then click open. And then we'll give that a sec as well. Our app is loaded. So in the app folder here, uh, go into manifest and then open the Android manifest.xml. And then this is our package name that we need to copy. So copy that, and then we'll paste it in here. So for Google sign in, as you can see here at the bottom, it says this is required for dynamic links and Google sign in. So we need to generate this debug sign in key here. And to do that, uh, if I go onto the documentation here, this React Native Firebase documentation, which we use also to implement our Apple sign-in and the Google sign-in on iOS. We'll go ahead and first install this. And then we'll also be working with the authentication. So on your left here, you have all these uh, options. You have analytics, app check, app distribution. Uh, we'll be dealing mainly with authentication. So I've got the tab already open here. We'll first need to install uh, this package here which is the authentication module. And then we already installed the uh, this app module. So let's go ahead and install the auth module. And then just going back to the installation page there, we'll go under Android setup. So here on this blue block here, we get the steps on how to generate this uh, SHA1 key or certificate rather. So what we need to do, uh, the installation there is complete. We just need to copy this, so CD Android. 
and then copy that command and then that will generate uh, everything we need. So the one we're looking for is debug Android test. So the SHA one for that is this one here. Let's go ahead and copy that. So there's two sets that are created. So as you can see here, there's a task and here it's React Native Firebase Auth. And then there's another one here, Firebase App. The two uh, SHA one uh, certificates are the same, but then at the very top, we have another one as well. So let's first add the, the, uh, the one that we just copied. So we'll edit the register app. And then we gonna skip this section first and then click next. Next again and then go to console. And we'll just click on settings on our Android app that we just created and then we'll scroll down again. So here we've ent we've added our certificate. I'll go ahead and add this other one as well. So at the very top, we have this uh, SHA, which starts with 5E. I'll go ahead and copy that as well. And then I'll add the two and click Save. Cool. And then we're ready to move on from there. Uh, let's see if we need to add anything else. So here it says configure Android with, uh, I mean, configure Firebase with Android credentials. So. Uh, let's first go ahead and download our package.json. So the reason why I didn't download our Google service JSON in, uh, the first time around is because I just made this update here. So now I can go ahead since I've uh, already made the update and it should reflect now in our Google services JSON. I'll go ahead and download that. And then uh, let's keep it here. We'll just put it in our downloads folder and then head back to Android Studio. Uh, here I'll switch to project and then click the drop down and then go into app and then I'll just go back into downloads and then drag that into my app folder. Let's just try again. It was still busy that time around. And we should be good. Just click refactor. There we go. So we have our uh, service JSON added. We'll close that. We'll also close that. Then here, let's just uh, rebuild our application or let's just complete the uh, setup first. We'll just switch back to Android there. And then back to the documentation. It says uh, we need to add this into our build script dependency. So I'll go ahead and copy that. So under Gradle scripts, we'll go for the one. Uh, I think it's the first one. So the project, we'll click on that one. So there's build script, I'll paste it in dependencies. So I'll just paste that. And then we also need to add this line in our other build.gradle file. So I'll copy this as well. And then in this module build.gradle, just underneath uh, this com.android.application, I'll paste that on there. So we're done setting up Firebase uh, on our Android app. Now, if we go into authentication and click on social authentication under Google provider, uh, scroll all the way down. So we need to set up Google sign in on our Android app in the same way we did for our iOS application as well. So I'll click on this Google sign in link. Uh, this should take me to the package. I'll go ahead and add this to my project. Uh, let me first CD out of Android. Then while that is installing, we'll go on to uh, the Android guide to follow the steps on how to set that up. So we've already configured Firebase uh, installation. We don't need to link, but we just need to add this line to our build script as well. So let's go ahead and copy that. So this one here, inside this uh, ext, we'll add that. And then these other steps are pretty much what we just covered as well. So this class path uh, gms should already be there, which is this one here, we already added it. 
and then uh, this android.tools.build.gradle uh, that should also be added which is uh, this line here and then uh, just also check that Google uh, command is there as well so if you scroll all the way down uh, it should be there and this dependency should also be included uh, and this should be in here I think so let's scroll down to dependencies yeah so we have it there as well and that's it. that's it I think with the setup we can then uh, go on to implement our Google sign-in so uh, let's first build our application so clean project we can close these two files so that was a success uh, let's go ahead and run or let's rebuild before we run it on our emulator that was successful as well let's go ahead and run this And then I'll also just run my metro. So I'll run npm start. Uh, this is an old application. Let's just close that. Just wait for that to launch. There we go. So here it says unable to load script and that's because uh, the application is not connected to my uh, my metro here. So what I need to do, I'll just hit command M on my Mac and then go under settings. Then click on debug server. And then here you'll need to add your IP address for me. That will mean going onto my Apple icon here and into system preferences. And then click network. I think on uh, Windows, you might have to run IP config in your terminal. And then here, I'll just type that in. So 192.168.1.194. And then port 8081. And then click OK. We'll go back. And then just close the app or reload. And then see if that loads. And if nothing loads, uh, just close the app and open it again. And there we go. Then from here, it's all about editing our app.js file. And as usual, just clean this up, remove everything I don't need. I uh, also need to import my button here to add the sign in with Google button. I don't need all of that. All this styling is not necessary. I can actually get rid of all of that. And then here, I'll just add a view. I'll give it a flex of one. Justify content, center, and align items, center. And then I'll add my button in there. Title will be sign in with Google. Then on press V sign in uh, with Google Async. Copy that. And this will be an async method. And then from here, we will need to import Google sign in from the uh, Google sign in package that we just installed. So I'll copy that line, edit there. And then we'll also need to copy, uh, what do you call it, the auth module as well, which we installed along React Native Firebase. So those are the two that we need. And then we'll need to configure our uh, Google sign-in. So just like we did in the iOS video, 
we'll need to copy that line and then add it here in our app file. And then the web client ID, uh, we'll just need to go back into our Android app and then go into our JSON file that we added, our Firebase JSON file. So I'll switch to project, and then in this app folder, go to my Google services JSON. And what I'm looking for here in this uh, auth client array, I'm looking for my client ID, which has the client type of three. So this one here. So go ahead and copy that. And that will be our web client ID. Save. And then from there, we can go ahead and implement all of that. And here, just make that a variable, call it user sign in. And then from here, we can just get the details that are returned from user sign in. So we'll say user sign in, then, and then if it's successful, we'll return a user. We'll console log user there. If not, we'll catch any errors that are returned. And then we'll also console log those. So here's our app with our sign in with Google button. And then I'll just open up my terminal as well. So if it's successful, we should get a user being console logged and also being uh, registered under our authentication section in Firebase. So let me open up my terminal there and then have my emulator running there. And then click sign in with Google. Okay, my Wi-Fi is off. Let me just go internet. Uh, sorry about that. So my internet was not working on my emulator and I managed to resolve that by simply going into my AVD tools. So in tools, uh, just head over to uh, AVD manager and then I just select wipe data that resolved the issue for me. And then I just ran the app once again. So as you can see, the internet is back. And then I'll close this and then just run my application once more. And my terminal, have it on the side there as well. And then we'll just give that another go. And from here, just add my host once more. left out something and then reload that if that still doesn't work then just restart the application so close it open it again and that should work so let's try that again now and there we go so we're getting the option to sign in using gmail I'll add my email address here. And then my password. Then I'll just need to confirm this on my mobile device. Okay, it's just grabbing that. And click agree. And from here, as you can see in my terminal, I've got my user info being printed out there. And then if I head back to Firebase, just reload this, we should get the user signed up there. So there we go. Yeah, and that's it with uh, Google sign-in on Android. Cheers.